Russian scientists and nuking asteroids heading towards, towards our Earth. I just wanted to remind everyone, please subscribe and ring the bell so that you can receive the new updated videos because I'm getting these uh, feedback messages from people saying that uh, they're not getting my videos even though they're subscribed to me. So please make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell at the bottom right hand side of the video on the top of the description box so that you can get the uh, new updated videos as fast as possible. We're learning a lot together because I'm trying to research on various things that I think you'll find interesting. Um, and uh, I have had reports that some people are not getting my videos, so that's why I'm, I'm reminding you. And of course, many thanks for your valuable support. Russian scientists reveal that nuking an asteroid to stop it from coming at us. Nuking an asteroid heading towards Earth is a safe option, they say. Sputnik News reports. So, maybe they took the idea from Bruce Willis. So, Bruce Willis, don't hang up your spacesuit yet because mankind may need your services again. This time, there won't be any tragic endings as Russian scientists say blowing up an asteroid won't harm anyone. A group of scientists claim Using nuclear weapons in the event of a looming asteroid impact is both safe and effective. The group says that following certain conditions, it would help prevent a collision without doing any harm to our planet. The team of scientists suggest hitting the asteroid while it's approaching the Earth. It is easy to accomplish, they say, as all known asteroids that could pose a danger to us wind up appearing in near-Earth space several times. Scientists say that using nuclear weapons to avert a collision with celestial objects is, of course, the last resort. They said it's possible to change an object's trajectory by sending a probe which would fly alongside an asteroid for a long time. However, scientists note that in order to change an asteroid's trajectory, they would need to perform this process many times, while a nuclear bomb would deal with the issue once and for all, and easily, I guess. Now, the events shown in the film Armageddon, where a group of men led by an oil driller, Bruce Willis, placed a nuclear bomb inside the asteroid heading towards Earth, may have seemed impossible, but 20 years later, the scenario is no longer considered quite as unrealistic. Researchers on near-Earth objects, the NEOs, that research started back in 2010. That's when a group of scientists from Russia, United States, France, Germany, Britain and Spain started the NEO Shield project. The Russian scientists were focused on finding how to avert an asteroid impact by using nuclear weapons. Moscow and Washington even signed a nuclear planetary defense agreement back in 2013. Asteroid terror. Human culture was wiped out by a mega prehistoric asteroid impact, scientists claim. And this, of course, goes around the area of the time span of the Younger Dryas, about 13,000 years ago. James Bickerton, Express UK reports the huge asteroid strike that may have wiped out a human culture in North America 13,000 years ago according to a shocking new scientific study. We know that we have the Gobek Gobekli Tepe pillars, the columns, the stone hieroglyphs and pictures inscripting inscriptions showing that there was a comet impact that they described. And uh, there are many people that believe that after those pillars were erected that they were intentionally hidden with uh, soil and debris. It's my belief that they were not hidden, that there was an asteroid impact that caused a mud flood or tsunami that brought in all that material and covered up not only that area, but other parts of the Earth as well. One of them being perhaps what buried the Sphinx in sand all the way up to its neck. Now, concerning North America, 
The survey blames an asteroid impact for triggering the Younger Dryas period in Earth's history. That's when temperatures declined rapidly. This has been linked to the extinction of numerous animals, including giant sloths in South Africa and even mammoths in Europe. And we'll talk about that later, how they found the um, undigested buttercups in the mammoth's body because it was so quickly frozen. Now, at around the time of the Clovis people, an early North American culture that vanished from record, similar disappearances took place in Africa during that time period, indicating a catastrophic global event. And uh, this seems to have been happening many times in the past. It's not just 13,000 years ago. And uh, the team of scientists believing platinum deposits dug up in Wondercraft, South Africa, support the asteroid strike theory. This matches similar deposits found discovered at 28 other sites worldwide. The deposit suggests dust with high platinum content was thrown up 12,800 years ago, which would be consistent with a powerful asteroid strike. Temperatures on Earth plummeted between 12,800 BC and 11,700 BC, which could be connected to an asteroid impact. The uh, study was published in the Paleontologia Africana Academic Journal. Professor Francis Thackeray, part of the team behind the report, said, our finding at least partially supports the highly controversial Younger Dryas impact hypothesis. Well, they're finding more and more evidence of it being an impact, so it's not a hypothesis anymore. Um, we seriously, they said, need to explore the view that an asteroid impact somewhere on Earth may have caused climate change on a global scale. They could have contributed to some extent to the process of extinctions of large animals at the end of the Pleistocene after the last Ice Age. Asteroids have been blamed for other periods of multiple species extinctions. The Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event that uh, took place 66 million years ago, that was the asteroid strike blaming uh, the extinction, blamed on for the extinction of the uh, dinosaurs that struck in eastern um, Mexico at the Yucatan Peninsula. It wiped out the significant portion of the species on Earth at the time, including the dinosaurs. And now commenting on his research, Professor Thackeray said, we cautiously hint at the possibility that these technological changes in North America and on the African subcontinent at about the same time might have been associated indirectly with an asteroid impact with major global consequences. We cannot be certain, but a cosmic impact could have affected humans as a result of local changes in environment and the availability of food resources associated with sudden climate change. In November 2018, scientists found a 19-mile-wide asteroid impact crater in Greenland. There's a speculation that this may be the asteroid that triggered the Younger Dryas global temperature drop, but most scientists blame the Younger Dryas drop on Earth's ocean circulation systems changing rather than an asteroid. Well, maybe it was the asteroid that triggered everything like that. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota. And we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.